Hi everyone, welcome to part 4, I think it is anyway, of our Roblox Simulator series. Today we're going to be making collectible orbs, so that you can collect them, touch them, and that will give you some money. Um, I'll show you an example, if I was to get out a, I don't know, collectible coin out of the toolbox, I'll show you an example. I don't know whether any of them will be here, this one. Uh, this probably won't work. Okay, I just want this. Uh, that is very complicated to what we've got, but, um, yeah, let's kind of get rid of that. Um, we're going to start by going to this part and adding a sphere, which is over here for some reason. Drag that down there. Um, open up your properties and we'll make this a random colour. I'm going to make mine blue. Uh, set the transparency to about 0.25 will do. Turn off can collide so that people can't trip over them. Because that happens when you've got high speed. I'm going to rename it to orb. Insert a script. And we'll say script.parent.touched colon connect function player or plr. Um, script dot parent we'll do dot transparency equals one um i'll show you a different example from um similar to my game i don't think it will be in my okay, so basically everyone just copy all of this here so inside of here we want to do local player equals hit dot parent go and find first child um, then we need to get the humanoid. Local player equals game dot players. Oops. Colon get player from character. Hit dot parent. If you like, you can just copy all this. If player dot leader stats dot points dot value is bigger than or equal to zero then let's just get rid of this um then we'll wait we'll create a forever basically waiting loop so we'll basically create a loop script dot um script dot disabled equals true script dot parent dot transparency equals one Script dot parent dot can collide equals false. We don't actually need that because it should stay like that anyway. Um, player dot leader stats dot points dot value plus equals amount weight um, math dot random. Uh, five comma ten, just for testing purposes. Obviously, you lot should make that longer. This is going to be the time in between each spawn of the orb, and then we'll just say script dot parent dot transparency equals zero dot two five. Script dot parent dot dot parent dot can collide equals for um false. Once again, we don't need that. Uh, script dot disabled equals false and boom that's it so just copy all that down and it should work I'm going to delete this coin now because that was a useless thing and then I'll show you how you can make multiple of them it's pretty simple obviously this doesn't spawn in a random location each time it spawns in the same spot you could make it spawn in a different location, but it's, I'm not going to show you how to do that because you've got to like mark these corners because otherwise all the coordinates because otherwise it can just spawn anywhere in the abyss. Okay, so we got four six five. Should get uh par oh I spelt parent wrong. Whoops. Um, where have I spelt parent wrong here? Okay, there we go. Yeah, so it should give us. About 
anywhere between like 2 and 15 or 5 and 15 or something. Okay, so we got four seven six and seven seven eight in there. Okay, we got four eighty, and boom, that gave us five. I don't know if you saw that, and we can't just keep walking in, and it should respawn. There we go, and it gives us some more. Awesome. So we've done our orb. Um, now what we can do is duplicate that. And just plonk them around the map, basically. If you want, you can make different orbs which are different colours, bigger orbs which give you even more points. Just sort of just do what you want, really. They're your orbs, <laughs> you do what you want with them. There we go. And now we've got a load of orbs which I'm going to group together with Control G and we'll call these orbs. Oops. Awesome. So thanks for watching. That's the end of this video. Next week next video we're gonna be doing rebirths. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe and bye.